What's up everybody? Chris M. Walker from Legit here coming back to you with part two of our case study using Legit and AI to create a revenue generating website. If you missed part one of this series, you can check that out. It'll be linked in the description and probably in the first comment. But basically what we did last time was talk about what we were going to talk about. And then we went through and bought some well, what we did was we ordered some expired domain services. Those have been delivered now and I've chosen a domain that we're gonna use. So in this in this video, I'm gonna show you the domains that I got from the different vendors I bought, or I bought from. Then I'm gonna go ahead and set up the hosting. Then we're gonna pick a web design service so we have something to upload our AI content on. And then we'll go from there. So let's jump over into the computer and get started. All right, so these are the one, two, three, four, five services that we bought last time. And the first one is actually still in progress. And I decided to go ahead and make this video and not wait for him to deliver. Now, he's been great. He's uh, working hard to find a relevant one and an expire, a relevant expired domain. And he sent an extension request and the communication has been good. So that's been great. The next one was this one from Sackett. And he said, unfortunately, it was a hard scrape and he couldn't find one that met what we were looking for. And that's okay. Uh, this one from Ahmed Abraham, uh, I decided not to use this one because he found some really strong domains, but he had to find sports related ones. And if you remember, we were looking for boxing related ones. Uh, so what he, and which is fine. It's just, I want to go with the boxing related one. Uh, but what he delivered, let me go ahead and open that is this one. He found one, two, three, four five six domains uh sports related domains they're not boxing but they're sports uh that i could probably have used and it would have been just fine they have good trust flow and low spam score he was really worried about getting a low spam score which uh to me doesn't matter but you know first for those of you that it does this would be a great one and then he found some general ones with good trust flow and low spam score as well so um yeah, that's that's pretty much what he found. Those are pretty good. I think I definitely got my money's worth there. So yeah, that's that. Uh, we'll come back to that one. And the next one, this one was my fault. He uh, apparently it's not for niche relevant. So he's and he says hello. This is not niche relevant. He calls it a gig, even though we don't have gigs on legit. Uh, but he did send a nice list. So let's take a look at what he sent us. And you can see he found some strong some decently strong uh, at least high in da domains f with links from news sites so honestly that's pretty good for the like seven bucks or whatever it was S social meet so some somalia education we can see this list of really high da um well i guess not i was looking at the wrong thing uh it, l this list of domains with links from pretty he high pa authority news sites but None of them are relevant, so I decided not to use any of these, but if you want any of those, you know, have at it. Who knows if they'll be available by the time you read this, but, you know, check those out. And then the winner was this service from I'm with AJ, and it's Royal Expired Domains, and there's the delivery. Um, we'll go ahead and open that. Now, I said that I was going to hide the one I decide to use I, for the sake of my sanity and trying to edit that out over the course of several videos. I'm not going to do that. I am going to show it. If anybody messes with it, which has been the case with every domain I've ever shown, um, you know, then we'll just have to stop this and that will understand why we don't have, this is why we don't get nice things. So <laughs> he found three domains for me with DR from five to 11. All of them are boxing related and all of them have at least 10 referring domains. Uh, 11, 58, and 14. The first one was the champ is back and you can see the links going, the referring domains going to it were, you know, not, not terrible. Uh, the one that I decided to use was this one, boxingtribune-news.com. And the reason I chose it is because it has links from two different Wikipedias and from archive.org and some boxing related links, boxing scene, boxing rec, and so on. While, so while it has the lowest DR, it has the highest referring domains and it has the most relevant and most powerful links going to it. And, and then this is the last one, which was boxingchamps-bp2018. 
Uh, I didn't use that one just because I like the other one better. And uh, yeah, so, and then he promotes his other services as well. Um, so that's the one that we're going to use, boxingtribune-news.com. So what I'm going to, and I bought that on Namecheap. I think I got it because I have some coupons. I think I got it for like eight bucks. So that's that's a pretty good deal, right? So what we're going to do now is go over to Namecheap and we're going to, and we're going to use Flywheel for the hosting. So we're going to go use Namecheap and Flywheel to set up the hosting. And then we're going to go pick a web design service. So let's do that. All right. So we are here in my favorite uh, host for WordPress sites, which is Flywheel. And I'll have a nice affiliate link in the description for that. Uh, I just love it because it's super simple to use and they have great support. So check them out uh, as needed. And we're going to choose this plan. And the site name is Boxing Tribune News. And we'll make Boxing Tribune News the temporary domain. And makes Boxing Tribune News the, well, I won't show this part. And I'm putting in the WordPress credentials here, which I'm going to hide from you. In fact, I'm going to use, yeah. which I'm going to hide from you because some of you suck. So let me go ahead and set that up. And now we will go ahead and click create site. And this usually only takes a minute or two. So we'll see that how long that takes and if not we'll pause real quick and then come back all right so we are back now what this does is set up a temporary domain and normally I just skip over that and have them work directly <coughs> on the, uh, the the main domain but I'm not going to do that this time because I want to deploy all of the AI content that we're going to get all in one shot so we'll have privacy mode on and let me go ahead and change this Oops. Well, so to something you can't see. All right, so as you can see, this is the temporary site, and this is what I'm going to give the designer to uh, to log in and to work on it with. And the reason I want to do that is I want to deploy an entire site full of content all at once and let it index as all at once. So, yeah. So now we need to go find a designer for this particular site. And I actually already have one in mind, but I want to take a look anyway. So we would come up to programming and either web development or web design. I usually start in web design. And I'm going to show you some that I've used before. I use this one all the time uh, because he's, he's really fast. He does a really good job. Med does a really good job. For lead gen sites, these two guys are great. I've used this one before with success. I've been happy with Adam in the past as well, but the one I want to use today is, we'll just put it in. This gentleman, uh, his name is Kubabe, and his legit username is WordPress Pro. And he is a fantastic designer. If you go back and watch this channel some, I actually, uh, interviewed him not long ago uh, about his services and some other things and he's just a really great job and he's kind of a hidden gem here on legit to uh, who does a great job and I'm gonna use this one because it's a service of the week from a few months ago and I like um, Elementor better than Divi that's just my preference other people will disagree but this is what we're gonna do so economy Four pages, smaller business. I think that's going to be good enough because we just want this to be a blog style site. So it would be kind of a blog style site, basically. So we don't need a lot of pages because we're really only going to need a home page and maybe like an about and a contact and a single blog or something like that. So just go ahead and add to cart and continue to check out wallet. View transaction history and submit requirements. And I'm gonna, I'll basically, I just have to give him the 
the cPanel and the content and other data. There is no content, so I'm just going to explain what I need and then give him the credentials off camera because you don't need to see that. So I need a blog style site that will be about boxing, boxing tips, boxing gear, and so on. Um, if you, let's say, I don't, don't have any content ready yet, so don't worry about that. Just get the site up. I need a home page, about page, contact page, and blog. The home, actually, I don't need a home page. The home page will just be a blog, and I need an about and contact page and single blog post. Not too concerned with the design. I knew you will do good work. You can just build it on the temp site and the credentials for that are here. And I'll go back and put that in off camera. And let me know if you have any questions. All right, so I will go back and fill in, well, yeah, I'll go back and fill in the, uh, what do you call it? <laughs> the credentials off camera. And I think that that's, and that's actually going to be it for this video because that's all we can do until that's done. So the next, the plan, let's just recap and then we'll go over the plan. All right. So we have chosen our niche. Uh, we're strike through. All right, so we've chosen our niche. We've chosen our expired domain. And we have hired someone to build out the site. So once that is done, we will be able to start getting the content generated and make it live. So to recap, we used five different uh, expired domain services. We have this one that has not delivered yet, but I'm expecting to deliver sometime today. Uh, we have, uh, that's our designer, we'll come back to that. We used this one where he found some good sports related domains, but they weren't, um, they weren't boxing related. Didn't use this one because he couldn't find one and he canceled it and that's fine. Um, we didn't use this one because I didn't pay attention and realized they weren't niche related. And we eventually ended up using this one, Royal Expired Domains, which you know I approved because I approved. And um, we set it up, we bought it on Namecheap. We were gonna go ahead and set that up here. Uh, we're not quite ready for that step yet. Um, we added it here in Flywheel and we set up a temporary site we're in privacy mode, so we can give that to the designer. And then we bought this service from WordPress Pro for $75 to go ahead and do the design. So that's pretty much all there is to it. And the next step is going to be, like I said, to get this design done. And once it's done, I'll come back and I'll show you the service I'm going to use to add content. And we're going to add a whole bunch of content. And that's pretty much it. So let me hop back on camera real quick and wrap this thing up. All right, so there you have it. That is part two of our legit plus AI case study where we're building out a boxing related site that will probably monetize with either ads or affiliate or both. We'll see when we get there. We have purchased a bunch of expired domains and chosen one. We set it up on hosting with Flywheel and we purchased a design from WordPress Pro slash Kobabe who's gonna get that done in hopefully a few days because it says one day delivery. I'm gonna give him you know, two or three days to get that done. And once that is done, we will go ahead and buy the AI, or we'll go ahead and get some AI content and load that sucker up. 
and we will then just wait for it to index and see when we start ranking. So uh, that's what you can expect in the next video is to, s to see the designed site, to load it up with content and do a few other steps to help it move it along, get it indexed and some other SEO best practices. And that's what I got for you guys. I hope you enjoyed this. I will see you in the next one. Peace.